Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, week 13 of season 2, WWE 2K24, my GM mode, here on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Uh, if uh, you're if you just popped into this video, see, hit that uh, subscribe button so you can know every time that we post a new video up here. Uh, this video is being recorded live on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. We record every Wednesday and Saturday following AEW Dynamite and Collision. And uh, yeah, we've been having a ton of fun with this as we're going along here. So uh yeah, getting into uh, week 13 here. We're st we're falling behind in terms of fans. Not completely worried about it right now. I am starting to get a little bit worried, but the fact that we're behind Bischoff so sort of, uh, or sorry, we're behind Heyman. So that worries me a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit as we're moving towards uh, Fastlane coming up. We st we're officially at the halfway point, so... The biggest worry I have right now, as you can see on the screen, in terms of fans, we are nearly 83,000 fans behind Raw. We're going to have to bring them back to the pack. I got to feel like I know how to do it, and we're going to try and pull it off here. And, uh, yeah, you know what? I could sit here and explain what I'm going to do, but let's go ahead and do it. All right, so we have to have one submission match this week. That's fine. In terms of these, we got contracts expiring coming up. We got our new guy, Tread Shaw, that's going to be here until week 22. I love the fact that we literally got a new guy for free. So yeah, let's, uh, before we do anything, that little star on top tells me we got some people to upgrade. And I think we were talking about this before. So Carmelo's hit. Level 10. Which means he gets a new perk. Basic stamina or basic morale. I'm not worried about the morale. I'm always keeping him in matches, keeping him happy. So let's get the stamina up. So he'll lose two less stamina for every match that he's in. Now, our other one here is Ms. Fallon Henley. She's up to perk level three, which means she's going to get another uh, category she could change into. Fighter or giant? Ooh. Because right now she's a bruiser. Actually, I could use I could use the fighter class bonus here. I don't know if I really want to put her as a giant. I don't have many cruisers to put in there, so. So we'll put her as a fighter bonus class. So basically what that means is we could use the uh, class. You know how you can change from heel to face? You could actually change their their status from one to another, right? So with another kind of promo. So MVP is at 13. Okay, so rivalry wise, we got... MVP and Dragon Off are at a level four. We're good there. We got the tag team rivalry here with Scarlett and JC Jane versus Fallon and Billy. So that's a level four. We're good there. McDougal and Dom is up to a level two. So we're going to have to work on that. Ava and Trixie is a level three. We could get to a level four possibly. But our new guy, Trent Shaw. I got a feeling we should... Uh, I think we're going to get Trent Shaw right in the thick of things here. Let's see who we got. Like, I, I don't know who we... I don't know what we have for... Uh, for a wrestler here. So let's just see what we have. And then for here... Main event, I think. Is 
Does anybody got a submission match specialty? Of course, Scarlet does, but she's got no energy left, so I want to try to keep her off the card tonight. So we might do Trixie and Ava. And maybe... Do a triple threat. Like, okay, let's go stab it a wise. We'll see where we're at. Cora's at a hundred percent stab it now that that feud's done. You know what I might want to see here? See, maybe we could get. I'll put this back to a singles. If we could get Cora Jade and Fallon Headley into a bit of a feud here, I wouldn't hurt my feelings. Uh, that was last week. Uh, she was gone for uh, la she was gone for last week, uh, getting the uh, stamina training done. So she's right up to a hundred. You can see for the stamina. So. This is the one we will put for the submission match here to get us our extra bonus here. So I want to try and push that into a... And this one we will just make a... You know what? Let's do a false cut anywhere match. They got some stamina left for that, so we're good there. And uh, sure, sure shit... Sh uh, yeah. That's the one thing I found. Like, he doesn't look like a cruiser. But hell, if he's going to be labeled as a cruiser and need some fresh meat for Gunther, why not try him? He says he has a ton of fans. Let's see what he can do. Who do I have left in terms of stamina here I got? We could try and see if we could hook up uh, Corbin and Rollins into this uh, into this potential rivalry I'm looking for here. Yeah, I think I want to try that. That's Corbin's specialty, but I don't know if I want to use it yet. You use that as a submission match. You're just there to get beaten up. Uh, I think we got... Oh, I plan on using something on Raw. I, we're going to use something on Raw. I thought about this for the last three days here. And you know what? While we're here, we might as well just start going here. Uh, the Get School cards might actually be useful here. What we'll do is... We got the 2-Bit Arena. The only bad one we got is the 2-Bit Arena. Okay. So what we're what we're gonna use is the two bit arena. We got two of them, so we're definitely gonna put that on raw. So what I got here is this special promotion card. This thing is the ultimate gold for me. For the mere fact that if they pull a card on me like that, I can pull this one out and we'll be able to save our ass in terms of not losing anything compared to what we should. So I'm trying to be very careful with that.
And I don't know if we're going to get that good of a show this week. So I'm going to hang on to this one here just to be safe. And who do I got that, like I said, I wanted to up somebody here. 30 XP will put Rollins at level 20. Which will open up another level for him. That'll put him at a level 15. Basically, it's 10 to advance a level. I'd really like to do that, but let's... Like, I'll show you here in terms of what uh, Becky has for level 20. She actually gets a second stipulation match on her, so... Uh, that's what a level 20 will do. And I'm pretty sure we're going to... Uh, Becky's definitely one we're going to have to keep going forward here just because she is a level 20. Let's, uh... So we got four matches planned. I might actually switch this up to a... We haven't had a triple threat in a while. They have another face in there. Actually, stacks might actually be a good idea. Just so we could get the extra correlations here going on. And then we'll make it a tables match for the extra stipulation. And hopefully, if everything goes well, cross fingers, cross toes, we get Rollins and uh, Corbin in a, in a feud here, so... All right, let's get these promos done here. No title? No, I want to... What do you think? Should we split the title on the line here? The only thing I'm scared of is if uh, Stax gets the title. Then we got him with two titles and everything gets confused. You think we should put the title on the line? You know what? You throw it up. Let's do it. And the rest of these are going to be non-title matches. And actually, I'm going to flip the exact match card around here. Just because the submission match will usually give you a little bit more of a boost. All right, let's see here. Is there anybody worth calling out at this point? Oh, I forgot McDougal's a level five, so I got to use that today. Uh, I'm going to get Billy to call out JC just so they get their singles feud up a little higher. Let's give Clint the uh, charity promo so we get some more fans out of this. And we'll do an advertising promo. Who else? I want to see who we can keep on stamina here. Ritz of three. Yeah, Becky's still got pretty high stamina. So yeah, I think we'll switch those as well. I think we got it here. Because yeah, this one I don't expect much out of. This one I expect a lot of fun. And hopefully, if all goes well, we can get this into a feud. Because this could be the new feud that's developing here. We get the tag titles out of the way. And then yeah, well, I guess we could open up with a title match hopefully either Baron or Seth win 
If Stax does it weird, then I'm absolutely pissed about it. But let's take a look here. Roster. Oh, wait. No, I was going to look at power cards. I got a health spa, too. Should be able to help somebody that's really dead in stamina. Actually, I think we're going to give it to JC because I might have to throw her in a singles match here. Yeah, so I'll throw her in, in there. Turns to picking up cards. I think I'll pick up a gig XP2. Okay, so this one here basically it just randomly will whether it be a chopper or a legend or somebody that isn't a complete superstar, it will cut you off. It'll only allow you to uh it'll cut cut it off by a week. Nope. Here's the other card we can play, and it'll piss somebody off. I could do that to Heyman, but I don't know if I really want to at this point. I'll save it for next week. We're going to... We definitely got enough stuff here that we can work on some stuff here, so. Is there anybody close to moving up that just needs five? 16, 20, 30, 12, 10, 15, 12, 12, 17, 8, 8, 12, Billy. Either that or we could give it to Clint, but. I think this might be a little more useful here. So after her, after her next match, she'll get extra. So I just want to start using some of these cards up because you don't get to keep them after the season. So we'll make sure we get to use these here. All right, I think all the world hates a coward here. We got our card booked. We got our spa used. All right, let's get let's get this show on the road here. So I think this week we have to check everybody else out first. Yes, we do. So we get a backstage brawl between Damian Priest and the Boogeyman to start. If you weren't here last week, uh, the Boogeyman won their TV title. Boogie Bad wins. And Damien's out for a month. Hoo, 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 hoo. That sucks. Jody Garcia doesn't do anything as always. Neon Bright Star Piper Nivid. They get the women's boots women's match boost because they have no title. Two and a half. Valhalla, excellent promo. That's already level four, so it doesn't matter. Josh Briggs, Logan Paul, Kurt Angle. I really hope Kurt Angle suplexes the hell out of Logan Paul 16 ways from sideways. And of course, Logan wins. Three and a half star match. Vicky McLeod trying to put herself over again. Then our main event for the tag titles, Tyler Bate, Julius Creed, taking on The Miz and Garcia. Bait and Creed win. Keep the titles. Four and a half. Garza out for three. He's starting to get the injuries riled up here. So our opening contest at WCW. Bucha T versus Karrion Cross. Oh, it looks like, yeah, they, looks like they made a signing. Would be a shame if somebody put a contract out to end early there. Tim Burr. Just barely puts himself over. 
Fatal four way match Paragon versus Grog versus Andre Chase versus Dewey. Dewey just had his match against Gunther, so. Paragon J. Pierce wins in a one match. It's. Oh my god, he got two rivalries out of it. The lucky son of a gun. Adrian Buck barely puts himself over. Big E versus Jerry Atrick. Jerry wins again. And Jerry's out for another. Oh, God. The injury bug is coming everywhere here. Tag team call. This is one of the new things you could do. A tag team call out. It sometimes will do level one. Sometimes it'll do level two. And then Alexa Bliss versus China, who is brand new on the roster. One, two. Ring that bell. Note to self. That contract card would look mighty good on China there. So Braun Strowman and Jim the Anvil Neidhart, the team with Beards versus Robert Roode and Braun Breaker, non-title. One, two, that's it. Ring it. Strowman and Anvil. Roode's out for three weeks, but they got a great match out of it. So many injuries showing up here. Undertaker versus Savage. Undertaker wins. Three start. They're doing great. I, I gotta I hate it, but it's great. Oh, this rivalry they'll never end. Mid-card tag team title match. Or non-title match. Three and a half stars. Tommaso Ciampa. Barely putting himself over. For the World Heavyweight Championship, Otis and Nakamura once again. Otis retains in a three and a half star match. Good on him. All right, so our opening match up here. Baron Corbin won the opportunity to get a shot at the IC title. And we're going to say Stax just... You know, Stax has been putting in the work against Guthrie all the time. He hates Corbin. Let's see if he can get a chance at the title and become a double champion. And Seth, well, Seth just wants to take everybody on. So we got a tables match, which is Stax's specialty. Let's see how this goes. The flames everywhere. The following contest is a triple threat tables match and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'd like to position Corbin in a spot where I can put him as one of the big baddies on here. Rollins has always been the workhorse, so the IC title on him makes a lot of sense. It's just been hard to figure out what I'm going to do for the men's tag division, right? Because we've been at basically having Dom having his fight with Clint in the middle of a tag title feud. Like, I'm almost at the point where I feel like Clint could go away. That way the tag titles disappear with them, and we can recrowd new champions going forward here. And introducing the challenger, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds. One half 
of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Jenny Stacks, Lorenzo. So once we get closer to the end here, we're gonna we're gonna try booking some stars that are a little higher up on the totem pole here. The contracts will be a lot shorter, so you won't have to worry about it as much, so. Like right now, I'd basically be bankrupt trying to get some of these legends in. Of course, that's the guy that gets the pro the pyro, right? It actually makes a lot of sense here to have Rollins the way that he is right now. He's just so over with this crowd. Oh, and uh, before I forget, with the Korra card, having her pulled away for a couple weeks, uh, it will not allow you to book her, period, if you... Like, like she'll have a little thing saying busy on there if you can't book her. Same with everybody else. And the one weird thing about this game is the fact the bell never rings on a tables match. It just starts. And I guess Corbin and Stax have had a bit of a rivalry going forward as part of that tag title thing. Shot to the back of the deck. But I'm gonna see after tonight what uh, what level Rollins is at and see maybe if I can push him up and give him that 30 XP. Essentially boosting him up to that level 20 that I can get in about our stipulation match, right? Rollins ain't fooling around. Just get the table down. Oh, no. I always get nervous whenever I see stacks over there like that. Yep, he got it. Just what I didn't want. Alright, well. Just another thing we got a book around here. Corbin just standing there too, yeah. Four stars, no rivalry. All right, so we're not gonna get one between set. Okay, so that we can deal with. That's why I say I don't mind if Clint just tucks tail and runs. 
Four-star match to start. This is a lot better than we've had. Becky, 13 grand, only loses one. That's fine. She's good. Now, this one here, Falls Count Anywhere match. Trixie and Ava, they don't match up in terms of caliber. I still think we're going to get a decent match out of this. Hopefully, we get it to a level four. Let's go take a look. If we can get this to a level four, we can finish it at the PLE. If by some chance one of the two of them can get changed over to a fighter, I might actually be able to do that next week. I got to take a look at the, if they have a class change available. The following contest is a false count anywhere match. Making her way to the ring from wherever she wants. Trixie Gambit. So I tried to set up the cards that the heels come out first. I, I tried to fi fix that up later, so... It's one of those smaller details that I keep forgetting as I set this up. Not that it has any effect on the card, it's just the old school, let's make this look better kind of deal, right? But yeah, Ava's been doing a pretty good job for us here as we've been do going through here. Wait, once again, it's two bruisers going at it, so... I don't expect much out of the match because of the class style. If I could switch it... I, ultimately, I'd love to switch Ava over to a fighter. Because I could do that with Fallon, but... Ava would be a better pick for me just because... Somebody further down the card I could group up to get better. Might even be a possibility I could side her through the rest of the season here if things go well. Nice power slab. Referee position, but only a one count. Well, we're, we're not even getting started. We haven't even gotten the false count anywhere yet. I'm just hoping we get enough money available that we can... Nice job, Ava. She landed on the kendo stick, so that wasn't too good. Ava just played all not fooling around here. That was a thud if I ever heard one. No, if everything goes well, uh, plan is after Fastlane, we'll get Scarlett to take on Becky Lynch for the women's title, build that feud up. 
And then if all goes well after that, it'll be JCG to Becky Lynch to finish it off. That's what we wanted to do in season one, and it just got hijacked. But getting a level four feud on two people that are the same, same, uh, same setup, just. Referee, get out of the way. You cost David the match there. See, now the match completely changes after the referee got in the way. B -b 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 botch ref! <laughs> it, it, it's little niche, so you always have to wonder if it's intentional or not. Now with the cover, hooks a leg. Just a one count again. Like, Trixie's a bit of a ghost here, I think. There's the Dominator. That might be it. There it is. Trixie got her finisher, though, so... Should be a bit of a bonus there. As long as it isn't five-star, I don't care. I'm assuming three-star... Three star would actually be pretty good here. There we go. Level four rivalry, three star match. This curve is turning out to be pretty damn good. We have got everything lighting up here just the way we want. 6750. So. If you didn't know, my special card for, like, the Superstar Shakeup card, anybody who has a Pro Bowl 1 automatically gets moved to a Pro Bowl 5. Clint is a Pro Bowl 1. He is automatically a level 5. So, that worked out really well for us. Now, this one here, Trent Shaw. He comes in and he says he just wants a chance. He'll come for free. Well, if you want to come in for free, you might as well take on the champ right off the bat. Let's see what you could do. Because the champ is sort of the standard, right? Let's see. Maybe we get a few. If we get a feud out of this and we got tread for 10 weeks. This could be our main event going into our next PLE. Let's take a look. We'll laugh your ass off again. Hey. Remember last week when I did the GM interference, Dewey Carter actually got a feud with Gunther. So I've seen stranger things happen. If we get that rivalry, yeah, we're, we're going to ride that thing all the way to the sunset here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria. Weighing in at 297 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Gunter! Sorry about that chat. I have to, uh... I gotta love these DMs from people that, uh... I've been starting to get DM Instead of getting the people in chat who get auto-blocked, they're starting to send DMs now to, uh... And his opponent from Little Rock, Arkansas, weighing in at 
Arkansas, weighing in at 219 pounds, Trent Shaw. He definitely does not look like a cruiserweight, guys. Does he have, uh, does he have Crash Holly scale by some chance? Like, maybe he's a bride cage type. Maybe he's a bride cage type. Where he just moves around like a cruiserweight. I laugh if he got injured on the first move and they called the match. He doesn't even get one offensive move in. This is hilarious. Gunther's like, why did you even put me in here with this guy? You said he had so many fans. Watch this, he comes up to me next week and says, yeah, no, I'm good, thank you. Oh shoot, take out the referee, atta boy. Little Nate is in the way all night tonight. A zigzag from Gunter? That was weird. Watch it be a double count out. Yeah, that definitely is not a cruiser rate going over like that. Well, you said you want to be in a match. That's all I can say about this right now. Uh-oh. Could you imagine we get the upset here right now? Frog splash from the second rope? No way. I was gonna say, there is no flipping way. I'll guarantee you if Trent wins, he gets, he gets in the rivalry right away. Gunther better psych up, yeah. It only took a matter of time. Only a one count. Must have used the resiliency. Please just use the power bomb so we get a good score here. Reversal out into the neckbreaker. This is awesome. Trent's actually doing something. I love it. And he's doing something stupid. And Guter's just, yeah, no, we're had we're had enough of this. Get up. Get up. Get up. This is like the equivalent to the Orange Cassidy kicks, right?
Power slab. All right, here we go. I think this is done. Suplex takes him over. Oh, Trent. Oh my God, Trent's got a little bit in him. Well, maybe not that much. Oh, Trent gets out of it. Okay. All right, go oh, don't finish it that way. No finisher. If you hit him with your finisher before you're dead, you get an extra star. Did we get a rivalry though? Bleh. Two star, that's all I expected. I didn't, I didn't know what to get out of this. I thought this is what we would get, but we'll see how the results go after we, after we take a look at the next match. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess we're milking this now and see how we go with it. Ah, uh, wanted to give Jade the week off, so let's. That sucks that way. All right. So our main event here, Cora, Jade, Fallon, Headley. I want to get Cora into another feud. Fallon is one of my top stars, and I want to I want to keep it that way. And Triple H said we had to have a submission match tonight to get a power card. Um, Let's see if we get a, get a rivalry goal with this, and maybe we can build this into our next PLE as well. Because that's one thing I have to remember when I do these. For the PLEs, we can have some good matches, but we don't need to have all, all our rivalries settled right there. We can spread them out a little bit more, right? The following contest is a submission match. Making her way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, Cora J. And as we get to our main event here, I just want to thank everybody for hanging out here this week. Uh, we will be back on Wednesday for the live taping of week 14. Uh, this will be up on our YouTube channel, of course, on Tuesday. Uh, if you missed any of it earlier tonight, feel free to go back and take a look on our YouTube channel, Backbreaker Gaming. But I do know after this, I'm probably going to have to give these girls a little bit of a break here. The women's tag tag title match will go with the PLE. All four competitors will have the week off. And from Chelsea, Michigan, The only thing I really don't like about this is if... Uh, Like, if I turned Fallon heel or turned anybody else heel for that matter, it wouldn't, uh... The crowd won't change their sound towards it, so... I think probably the story I get behind this is... Fallon probably told Cora that, you know, I wouldn't have needed three weeks off to, uh... To recover from a cage match against Becky. You deserve you should have won the title. If you knew what you were doing.
Or maybe Fallon would have just said, you know, Cora would have been shooting her mouth off about wanting a, a rematch. And Fallon would have said, well, you know what? Why don't you just give it up already? And F Cora's like, make me. All right, well, let's go. Takes a couple pitches to get a right story out, right? Like the way things are going for us here as we're doing this, it almost feels like we're gonna get right up until, up until the release of 2K25 in order to finish all five seasons here. Because uh, season two is gonna finish at the end of uh, September. If we still keep doing two a week, we'll finish the end of September. Then I'm gonna have to plan out how we're gonna do our, do season four. I'll basically ch check out how many days we'll have available, then we'll adjust it from there. Damn it, Robinson, you keep getting involved in these matches. It's not good. Because basically with Robin, well, basically, oh God. Cora just ate it there. Drop the bottom out there. You can't turn off cut. No, I can't. The one thing I did do and I actually found out I was screwing up. I, uh, I actually got the blood turned back on for this. So if somebody starts bleeding, we'll actually get to see it. Not just the red flash. But yeah, no back stipulations. We can't adjust here. Nice reversal by Fallon. Oh, that's right. She's got the single crab. That's right. We're going to get a tap out here. Nope. Nice reversal. Nice leg lariat there by Cora. Going up to the top, what's she gonna do? Try for that senton again, it just couldn't get it. Uh-oh. Just can't follow up. Oh, there we go. That would have been a very interesting submission. I, I, I wouldn't have mind that. So yeah, for everybody just popping in here, this is a submission match here, our main event here this week. If you weren't here earlier, uh, we do have a new Intercontinental Champion in Stax Lorenzo. Who defeated Baron Corbin and Seth Rollins in a triple threat tables match. We also had uh, Trixie Gambit defeat Ava Moreno in a false count anywhere match. And if you're saying who, well, you have to check it out. We've got a newcomer here, Trent Shaw, 
took on Gunther. Uh, Gunther was victorious rather easily. And then we have this match here, which is a submission match between Fallon Henley and Corey Jane. Watch it be a count out. It's gonna be a draw. Count out. Are you kidding me? we got a three out of it we didn't screw up the bell curve no rivalry so we'll sink that one into later uh, all right let's go check out the report cards smackdown good booking we got good booking not great we got a level four rivalry there. We got a level one rivalry there. Level two there. And nothing. Damn you. All right. So level four, level two, level one. Root out for three weeks. Level two there. Let's see here. You got good booking. Everybody's getting good booking here. Level one. Two level ones. A level three and nothing. That here, level four, but Garza's is out for till after the PLE. Briggs and Paul still a level two. Like I said before, Fowl or Larray are still level four. And Priest still five weeks. Damn. All right, let actually let's go check out the match report here. Why was this so bad? The match type, that's all. So I've realistically I should have put it on uh I should have put this match over to somebody I sh Gunther and Trent to put it there if I need to. And this one here just yeah, there's nothing to it. Everything's five stars except the match type doesn't get a bonus. No rivalry. Rivalry grows. We got three stars for the rivalry, two for the specialty. Class matchups is poor. Performance is poor. So if I can get the class fixed up, then we shouldn't have a problem here. And four stars here for pretty much everything except special ma match specialties because only one person had it. So... All right, time to see what our scorer is. ECW first for 117. 57,000 fans. To 316 your buddy. Wow, okay. I think I might be falling behind everybody right now. 104 to 331. Okay. And 224. Okay, we're good there. 119. At least he dropped his funds. Oh, that's for next week. Never mind. What do we get? 107. So we're still falling behind. We're almost at 300,000 cash, so... We're getting better. 3410 and 289. All right. So we got the extra contract negotiation. We can ask four weeks to a contract. So technically, we're still first. Fan-wise, we really caught up on uh, 
on Raw here. So for those that are new here, first thing is Hall of Fame trophies. We got three of them already. I'll we'll take a look at the rest when we go. Um, then it goes by fans. So technically, we're forty thousand behind. We were eighty thousand after the last show. We're gonna get a lot closer next week because we just screwed him up royally. Um. We, we really jumped ahead of Haman there. Haman, we're now 30,000 ahead of Haman when we were like 5,000 behind him before. So we did a hell of a job getting our fans together here this week. So should be a lot of fun. But before we go, as per tradition, that won't let us save on this screen. So we're going to have to advance here and see what stipulations are coming up next week. So let's go take a look. Calgary next week. Awesome. Contracts up at the end of the week. I'd love to stay for another five weeks. I'm asking for 21-5. You got a level four rivalry going here with Ava. Twenty one thousand. That's not much, actually. You know what? I'll keep her for another five weeks and we'll go from there. OK, so she's smiling. Hey, what's that you pulled? You had to do it. And you would have done the same in position. So he's going to do something like that to me. That's why I use that keep the fans card. Really psyched for the upcoming PLE. Can't wait to put on a great show for the crowd. So JC wants... JC was going to get a, one of the main matches anyway. Take two weeks off. She's at 14 stamina. Uh, this is that rivalry that we had at level four. I could have just. You know what? We'll keep her. We'll let her take her two weeks. We'll, she'll miss the PLE. We're going to have two level four rivalries to work with. We got MVP and Dragunov. We got the tag titles. We will burn the next match after she could get injured. Yeah, so let's give her some rest. All right, so. Have your most popular male heel and face fighting chair next week. We do Guther versus Stax again. Champion versus champion might not be the worst thing in the world. All right. Well, let's take who gets the upgrade. Trixie gets an upgrade. That's awesome. We got a right of position here. Oh, and Billy can get an upgrade too. Oh, no. Billy already gave one too. So that's why. We got a lot of options going forward here. We're going to have a lot of good things going on. Let's take a look. What, what are you going to get for that? A bad time. Well, we got all right. We already got one of those. Oh, I was going to show you the journal here where we're at. So basically, I have to get 600,000 in the bank, which I'm not even close to. We've spent 600,000 out of a million that we have to for... Uh, getting another Hall of Fame trophy here, so. So yeah, we're one away from another Hall of Fame trophy here. By the end of the season, we shouldn't have a problem here because we just hit the halfway mark and we're over 600,000 already. So we're gonna put a hell of a show on here in, in Calgary. We got to show what they do properly here in the old uh, 
old world here. So she gets two weeks of rest. Tag titles on the line. Brittany's contracts up at the end of the PLE. So what I think we're probably going to do next week is set up uh, a Gunther versus Stax match with a trick rutted. Let's see if we get this rivalry really going. But uh, we'll talk about that next week. We are on a countdown to fast lane here. So Wednesday, for uh, those watching on Twitch, we're going to be doing it on Wednesday. And stick around because I'm going to do the uh, end of the stream and we'll probably raid out here as soon as we get there. For those on YouTube, uh, we are, uh, this is uh, going to be up on Tuesday. We're recording live on Wednesday, twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. Come join us. Uh, give us a follow. Check out all the great stuff that we do there. Uh, the next time we'll be up on YouTube will be Friday with the recording of Wednesday's show. So uh, we're going to be set up here for the PLE just fine, I got a feeling. So uh, we got a lot of things going on here that are so many positives. But as always, folks, thank you for stopping by. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment about what your favorite thing about the show was. But always remember, no matter what, folks, be part of the solution. Don't be part of the problem. And we'll see you all here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody.